Okay, today we've got a CCF 35. It does say CCF 40, but it's only got a 35 lid on it. Uh, it's about 15 to 17 years old and stopped working about two years ago. I was going to throw it in the tip. I couldn't find anything about fixing, getting it going cheaply on the internet. So I've put this on the internet hoping that it might help someone. Uh, I was quoted over $300 to fix it, which I could buy a new one nowadays for 600 even though it was $1,000 when I brought it. So all you've got to do is take off this plastic cover from around the side, which has three screws either side and a few bolts few little screws underneath, take that off, disconnect all the wires from the original Waco wiring, pull them all off the compressor, connect the positive and negative and put a bridge across the, I don't know if you can see that, uh, where is it? Bridge across the C. C. C and T. Terminal. And connect it, you can connect it directly to your battery. If your compressor runs, then you can do this modification and make your fridge run. And you just buy one of these thermostat controllers off eBay for $20. Um, I've set this for one degree and as you can see it's 20 degrees at the moment and I'll just put this thermostat into the fridge As you can probably see, the thermostat's already starting to go down. It's only been, been running about five minutes. So, eventually, I'll just mount this on the side of the fridge like that. Just a cheap bodge. And still a good fridge for a $20 fix. Uh, I'm just going to cut these wires and not worry about the Waco wiring anymore. This will just be a direct hot start from the power supply. So you can just get your cutters and cut all that wiring out because you don't need it. The only thing is the fan doesn't go, but I will hot wire that into this control box at a later date. So there you go, it's down to 7.7 .7 already. Anyway, for anyone who wants a cheap Waco fix, or to, just to hot wire their compressor, to see if it's working uh, because mine the compressor wouldn't run or anything and there was no error lights coming up so that's the easy way to hot wire your compressor just a positive and a negative straight to your battery or your power supply bridge the C and the T terminals and if your compressor runs well then you can buy one of these off eBay not sure of its name, it's probably got its model there. A B BTC STC 1000 temperature controller. And you'll probably, I'll try and keep this video going enough so you can see 
uh, when it gets down to one degree it just shuts off through the controller and the compressor stops working and then when it goes half a degree or one degree above it it'll kick in again and restart alright well that's it quick and easy thanks